Hi everyone, it's the 4th of Feb and thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get more information when I post. So, later I'm going to tell you about my journey with my new Invisalign, but this is a little catch up what I did this week. On Tuesday, I took the client from our Chelsea project over to Wigmore Street, where all the top end kitchen designers are based. We went to see one called Design Space, was greeted by a very friendly sales girl called Jess. She's shown us a number of kitchens and the one we liked were floor to ceiling doors, amazing work surface, um, but just super high end. You're talking about 120,000 quid for the kitchen. And uh, we decided not to go with them. And we went with a independent kitchen designer in Chelsea who has put together a lovely scheme for a high gloss finish units, uh, handleless with a Carrera stone effect work surface with Miele appliances. It's still £60,000, but almost half the cost of the Mayfair store. On Thursday, I went to see a friend of mine who's just completed a project in Belgravia. Would you believe it? The house cost £40 million. The project has gone on for three years and has cost over three million quid. The finishes were exquisite. They've built a basement under the whole footprint of the house, which has got a swimming pool, spa, jacuzzi. Amazing. Cinema room was like almost as big as the Odeon. So that was a nice uh, project to view. We also had two very, very nice inquiries. One, again, in Belgravia. The lady has got planning approval for a basement under the footprint of her house, but that's all she's got. We need to create working drawings, structural drawings, interior design package, all the reports, all the planning conditions have got to be signed off. So we're quite a way away, but fingers crossed, this one is pretty warm. We're gonna go and take her to see one of our projects next week. And uh, she's a big fan of new. She's been following us on uh, Instagram. And there's another one in, I think tooting, tooting, tooting. And um, this one is a beautiful kitchen extension, pod room, full refurb of a terraced house. This guy is based out of South Africa. I had a Zoom call with him this week and um, we're gonna go and view it tomorrow morning, Monday. So you may be wondering why I'm lisping all the time. It's because I've got my Invisalign trays in. Now, I've had them in for nearly three weeks now and it's going okay. My teeth weren't that bad, just a little bit crooked and as you get older, your teeth move around. So I thought, you know what? Let's try Invisalign. My dentist recommended it. He said it was pain-free. It's pretty quick. The process really, um, you find your dentist, uh, he puts this sort of scanner in your mouth and it scans your teeth 3D. Then it goes off to Invisalign and they send you back a sort of a 15 slide visualization of your teeth now and moving over 15 weeks. And it's really interesting because you can all just see them just sort of straightening up over time. Um, so yeah, two weeks later, you get 15 trays in a pack. And he said to me, for the first two trays, keep them in there for 14 days. Okay, 14 days. For the first time you put them in there, your teeth are pretty sore because it puts pressure on your teeth and they start to move very, very, very slowly. And when that pressure stops, and you start getting used to the pain, or the pain goes, in my view, your teeth aren't gonna move anymore. They've moved enough in that tray. 
So after the first week, I decided to put number two in, put tray two in, which I've done. Again, you put it in there, puts a lot of pressure on your teeth, but you know, you're supposed to have it in there 20 hours a day, which I do put them in 20 hours a day. You sleep with it during the night. And um, the first time, it, you know, it's a little bit weird. Your tongue doesn't know where to go, but you just get on with it because you want nice straight teeth and a Hollywood smile. So this is week three. I changed into the third tray yesterday morning. So the pressure is quite hard on my teeth and basically on your teeth as well, they put these little, these little like nodules on. I guess they're like little fillings. They stick onto your teeth. So the trays have something to grip onto to put a little bit more twist and turn on your tooth. But I've watched maybe 10, 20 YouTube videos on people who've had Invisalign and specialists around the world. And they say you can change trays earlier. Young people can tra change trays every seven to five days. So every five days, you stick it in there, keep it in there for 20, 20 hours a day, and then change your trays. Yes, it's gonna put pressure on your teeth and on your gums. But I don't want to wait. Imagine doing each tray 14 days. Too long. I want to do each tray. I want to follow the procedure. I want to keep it in there 20 hours a day. You get this little grommet thing, which you like sort of bite down on. And it forces the tray tightly onto your teeth to make it grip and turn it. And the more pressure you put down, the more your teeth are forced into this tray, into the mold. So that's what I'm gonna do. Follow this space because I will uh, keep updating and look, you can see now, hopefully in 13 weeks time, we're gonna have a conversation and I'm gonna have perfectly straight teeth. Anyway, Thank you for watching this video, if you survived to the end. I know I'm a boring old fart, but I really would appreciate if you could hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, comment, tell me things you want to see me to talk about, and because uh, I need some bloody help getting some followers, to be fair. I don't know how many I've got, 750. But I've been on this channel for four years or three years. It takes time.